what's up everybody, Gamer Pro 8000 here, and welcome back to another reaction about SML, where I'm going to reacting to their old video, and that happens to be Saw 2. Oh no, Billy's coming back to literally get everybody A's, and not only that, but also wanting everybody to play his torturous games, so... I'm not going to like this at all. And I got to ask you something. And it's not the same question that I asked about the first... About the first video about Saul. But do any of you ever have a roommate or not? Or you still have one? I mean, yes. Tell me how it feels. I mean, does it feel good? Does it feel bad? I mean, yes. Sometimes it does, but mostly it does not. I mean, to me, it doesn't. Yes, I remember having a room... To share my roommates with two of my siblings. And yes, it did not go so well. I mean, yes, we both shared the room. We got no other choice. We got nowhere else to sleep but but to share the room. And yes, it did not go so well for the three of us. Yes, I have my own room. But so do my siblings, which I feel better for them. And I should feel better for myself. To me, I can actually decorate my room wherever I want. And not only that... But I, I would like the way it is. Just like. Just like that. If any of you feel the exact same way as I do. Then good for you. Uh huh. Now you got more spaces. But you can decorate wherever you want. Uh huh. Yeah have fun. Have fun. It feels really good. And not only that. But yeah. Your servers will feel the exact same way. They got someone else to share with the bedroom. Or they can have their own room to themselves. Yeah. It's good. It works out for all of us. And yes, sometimes they can be a pain in the ass, but they're your family, or may, it may be someone else. Like, imagine you're in college, you got no choice to share with a roommate. Yeah, they may be annoying, but yes, but they're your roommates. Yeah, if they assign your roommate, you have no choice but to share with them. And if that's how I have to accept that, then okay. But it ain't gonna be easy. Uh huh. So let me know in the comments if any of you have some roommates or not. Anyways, before I begin straight into this video, I just need you all to do me a huge favor and that's even liking this video and most importantly subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell right yet. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. Now let's get straight into this video and see how this goes. Jimmy, Jimmy, why? Oh, Jimmy, why did you miss the three? You were wide open. I don't really blame you. If you would have made that shot, the whole stadium would have gone bonkers. Oh, but still, why didn't you just go for the tie? You were only down by two. Well, I guess you are Jimmy Buckets. You're going to go for the win. Man, if that damn rim weren't in the way, he would have gotten it. Ugh, just one inch short of greatness. Story of my life. Boy, I need the bills I do. Go away, Karen. Boy, you've been on this couch for a week. Well, it's because I'm depressed. I'm drinking away my pain. Because the heat got beat. And Jimmy Buckets is more like Jimmy sucks at shooting. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I didn't mean it. You know I love you. Boy, we got to pay these bills. How much are they? The mortgage is $3,000 a month. Oh, Jesus. I shouldn't have gotten that balloon interest. Well, we can't afford that, so just call them or something. Boyney, I've been thinking, and I think we need to rent out one of the rooms on Airbnb. What, what and let a stranger live in our house? Boyney, we gotta pay the mortgage somehow! Okay, I don't even care. Just do whatever you think is smart. I'm just gonna sit here and watch this replay until Jimmy makes it. <gasps> Karen? K Karen, the remote's dead. K Karen? Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> Boy, I need the Airbnb listing is posted. Yeah, that's great, Karen. Do you know where the batteries are? <gasps> Boy, I need someone already rented out the room. I think they're double A batteries. This is so exciting, Boy, I need. It's going to be like having a slumber party every night. We have a roommate. The double A batteries are the big ones, not the little ones. Those are triple A. I know you struggle with that. Okay, how about you put batteries in the remote and I will answer the door. Okay, boy, hurry, hurry, hurry! Hello? Hello? Karen, there's no one here. Down here. What? Oh, oh, hey there, little boy. It's not Halloween, so you're trespassing. Get lost. I'm the guy who ran out the Airbnb. 
Oh, oh no. My wife did not do a background check on you. Thank God. Yeah, well that, that room you rented out, it uh it burned down. Just that one room, so you're gonna have to leave. But I have cash. Oh, oh man, we do need to pay the bills. Okay, you can come in, you little weirdo. Just leave your tricycle out here. Oh, come on, please. No, it's gonna have to stay out here for now. Oh, you're so lame. Karen, the guy is here. Boyney, you didn't even ask for his name? I'm afraid of him. The name's Billy. Nice to meet you, Billy. Nice to meet you, too. Okay, Billy, so this is our home. Please try not to steal anything or sacrifice goats or whatever the hell it is you're into. Nice place you got here. Real nice. Uh-huh. Okay, well, your room's upstairs right next to my daughter's, which is starting to seem like a bad idea. Ooh, does she like to play games? Okay, listen, man, I'm a cop. I will kill you. Boyney, he probably means, like, board games or playing with Bobbies. No. Uh, okay, look, just go up to your room and just don't leave, okay? <sighs> okay. Karen, I think this is a bad idea. Boyney, it's fine. We need the money. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, can you make me a sandwich? Boyney, I gotta finish cleaning the house! Ugh, okay, I'll make my own sandwich, but I thought I had a wife for a reason. Excuse me! For real. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. I mean, she wouldn't be useful around the house if she wouldn't make you a sandwich. And now with that, but when did she ever clean up around the house? When did she start doing everything around the house? I mean, she's a lazy, retarded bitch. So, I don't believe her. She don't do anything right and doesn't make any sense. And also, I can't believe she literally did not do a background check on you. Like, that's real stupid. Like, she's going to realize that she just put her whole family in danger. It happened to Marvin and his family. It's going to happen the same thing to Brooklyn guys as well. Not only is his family playing who's right through hell, but Billy is about to do the exact same thing as they're doing right now. And also, I feel Brooklyn guy. I will feel the exact same way for my team not hitting a winning shot to take the lead to pick up a victory. And also, for those women who are out there watching this, I will not force you to make me a sandwich. I will do it on my own because I will not want to treat you like garbage or anything like that. Yeah. I don't. I respect women a lot, and I will not force them to do this. Trust me, I don't want to. Oh man, what's the point of even getting married if I have to make my own sandwiches? What? Karen, we're out of mayonnaise! <laughs> I want to play a game. A game? Yeah, you're out of mayonnaise, so how about it's time to try some mayonnaise? Oh, you got new mayonnaise! No, 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 no. This is mayonnaise with AIDS in it. It's mayonnaise. AIDS. So, you decide. Eat a dry sandwich and suffer, or have a delicious sandwich and get AIDS. I, I think I'll just take the dry sandwich. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Sugar-free ketchup. Almost as bad as AIDS. Oh, God. Jesus. Give me the mayonnaise. I'd rather have that than no sugar ketchup. The choice is yours. Uh, I think, I guess I'll just take the dry sandwich. And... Hey, boy, how's your sandwich? Dry? Well, why didn't you put mayonnaise on it? Because I didn't want to get AIDS. What? Oh, oh God, my stomach hurts. <laughs> I want to play a game. What is it with you in games? I put laxatives in your beer. What? Why would you do that? How is that even a game? Oh, God, I got to use the bathroom. Oh, I got to poop. What? What? Barbed wire? Is that barbed wire? On the bathroom door handle, right when you have to poop? It's almost like that's the game. So, you decide. Crap your pants, or cut your head going to the bathroom. Did I mention that the barbed wire has AIDS on it? I'm just gonna use the guest bathroom. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. What? Oh, come on! <laughs> it's almost like I put barbed wire on all the bathroom door handles in the house. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> poo poo man. What's wrong? Does the stinky baby need a diaper? <laughs> okay, that's it. He's gotta go. Karen, we need to talk. Boyney, why'd you change your outfit? No more Miami Heat? No, Karen, I crap my pants. Boyney, you're too old to be doing that. What are you, a little poo-poo man? I'm not a poo-poo man. Everybody stop calling me a poo-poo man. N no, we need to talk about that Billy guy. He has to go. Boyney, no, we need the money. Yeah, well, I don't care. He keeps bullying me and trying to give me AIDS. Well, he hasn't been mean to me yet. Well, you just wait. He will. Boyney, have you seen my phone? I want to play Candy Crush! I would like to play a game! Woo! A game? I love games! 
No, Karen, it's not going to be a fun kind of game. I found your phone, and I put it in this bowl filled with glass shards covered in AIDS. Now your phone is set on airplane mode for the next 30 seconds, and when the timer goes out, a naked picture of you will be sent to Brooklyn Guy's brother, Jonathan. So, you decide. Are you going to risk the sanctity of your marriage, or get... AIDS? Wow. That's my line! Look at it! Boyd, get my phone out now! I'm not putting my hand in there, I don't want AIDS! But Boyd, it's gonna send a naked photo of me to Jonathan! Yeah, I'm gonna get over that eventually. You know what I won't get over? AIDS! Ah, uh, I'll get it. Hello? I came over as soon as I got the picture. Your wife is so hot! Karen, help me! Put some clothes on, Jonathan! <laughs> You see, Karen? He's gotta go. But Boiny, he already paid. He has to stay for at least one night. Okay, fine. Then let's go to bed right now so we can kick him out first thing in the morning. Okay, Boiny. Okay, I'm gonna go brush my teeth. <sighs> I'm just gonna brush my teeth and go to bed. Uh, what the? What's wrong, man? You're not gonna brush your teeth? Ew, gross. You put a razor blade on my toothbrush. Oh, let me see. Oh, I did do that because I want to play a game. So, what's it gonna be? Risk cutting your... Gums or the ginger face. Is there AIDS on the razor blade? No. Oh, really? There's no AIDS on this one. Sorry, I lie. It's covered in AIDS. Of course it is. How silly of me to think that it wouldn't be covered in AIDS. So, what's it gonna be? Ginger face or AIDS? The choice is pretty obvious to me. Yeah, it is pretty obvious. I'm picking ginger vice. No, ginger, ginger AIDS. I'm not getting AIDS. <sighs> Okay, listen, man, me and my wife are about to go to bed, so could you just, like, chill out? Yeah, I respect that. I'll give you and your wife some long time. <laughs> okay, okay, you're being weird again. Okay, just leave. It won't matter, because he's gonna keep on doing these games anyway. No matter how many times you keep telling him to stop, he's still gonna keep doing it. I mean, let's face it. He's literally just off for fuck's sake. And also, I can't believe he literally just said a naked picture to Jonathan. I mean, like, fuck Jonathan. I'm just really glad he took his phone though, so thank you for that. But it's really worse to have your phone like glass covered in AIDS. I mean, like, let's face it. Whatever airplane mode that they'll send to everyone else singing, it won't be good. The only thing funny is that they call him the pooper man. <laughs> oh man, but it would really suck that you have to drink laxative or anything else that is covering laxative that had no choice but to shit yourself. I mean, I would hate that. I'm gonna ruin my clothes. They they won't be good as long as I wash them out really hard. Oh, Boydy! What is it, Karen? Oh, God. Billy! What's up? Oh, wow. What a comfy looking pillow. Where'd you get it? Bed, Bath, and Beyond? I want a whole set of these. You said you were gonna chill out, man. Oh, I did this earlier. But since we're all here, let's just go ahead and play a game. So, what's it gonna be? Sleep without a pillow and risk getting neck cramps in the morning? Or sleep with the pillow, cut your face up, and get AIDS? Boy, I bet it's not even real. Look! <laughs> ah! Great job, Karen. Now you have AIDS. What? Someone's gotten AIDS. Karen, there's no cure. Oh, oh, Boiny, look, look, look. I'm not bleeding. It didn't break the skin. What? Do it again. No. Come on, harder. No. I said harder. No. Um, Dad, the Wi-Fi is not working. Harder. No. I said harder. Come on, man. She doesn't want to do it. How about both you guys do it at the same time? No, I don't like it. Oh, come on. Oh my god, they're so gross! Oh, come on, guys. What's wrong with a little A? Okay, look, Billy, we don't like you. What? It's true. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants your AIDS. <sighs> come on, Boiny. That was mean. You know what else is mean? Trying to give us AIDS multiple times. Boiny, he's just trying to play a game. I don't want out. Jesus. I better not get AIDS. I'm going to be so pissed if I get AIDS. Boiny, why don't you go upstairs and sleep in Penelope's room? Yeah, maybe you're right. Then I can at least protect her. <laughs> Ew! 
What are you doing in my room? Your parents suck. I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. All I want to do is play some games. Oh, well, we can play with my Legos. <gasps> really? I love Legos. Hey, Penelope. Daddy's gonna sleep at what? Oh, hell no. Hey, Dad, we're playing with Legos. Yeah, look what I built. But, okay, that's it. Billy, you're gonna have to get out of here. My daughter's room is off limits. Dad, I heard what you and stepmom were doing in your bedroom earlier, and it was disgusting. Yeah, you're gross. Well, no, 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 Penelope, it's not what it sounded like. He was trying to give us AIDS. Ew! Billy, let's go. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, move over, Karen. I'm sleeping with you. Boy, I thought you were gonna sleep upstairs in Penelope's room. No, I locked her door so nobody could get in there. I'm sleeping down here. Oh, okay, boy. Do you want to be the big spoon or the little what about the AIDS spoon? Jesus Christ, that doesn't even make sense, dude. There's no such thing as an AIDS spoon. Yeah, there is. I took it from a guy with AIDS eating cereal. That's not even how that works. No, yeah, what have you done? Okay, listen, man, I gotta get up early in the morning for work. Oh, speaking of work, I took your work phone and put it in this bowl filled with AIDS glass. You already did that. Oh, but this is much better. I bet you're wondering what the game is. I don't know. Did you send another naked picture to my brother? Oh, much better. I took your personal Twitter and tweeted the N-word. Hard R. So, what's it gonna be? Reach in there and grab your phone? Getting AIDS? Or be labeled as a public racist? Bunny, you have to get your phone. You can't lose your job. We gotta pay our bills. I am not putting my hand in that bowl. Oh, what's wrong, racist? Okay, look, I'm just gonna call my boss and tell him that I got hacked. Oh, great idea. Go ahead, grab your phone. Call your boss. No, I'm just gonna do it on Jonathan's phone. Oh, wow. You deceived me. Real cool. Okay, before I get straight into that, I just need to know that Penelope here in the, in the bedroom, <laughs> imagine every kiss hear that. I mean, to me, honestly, yes, I have. But imagine, like, hearing your mom cry or, or your mom and dad arguing. Imagine it wasn't even an argue at all. I mean, yes, we we'll all will be traumatized by, by that. All the noise that we've been hearing. Imagine we tell our friends this. They, won't, they will be shocked as we do. And also, back to this. I mean, holy crap. It's worth taking a risk of getting AIDS, but... We're between the N word to become a racist? No, uh uh. I'm not choosing both of these. I mean, yeah, it's worth to be a racist, but getting A's that won't go away? Hell no. Imagine someone ask you this question or make you do it. Imagine you won't choose both of them. I mean, let's face it, I do not want to get hacked to say the N word. I'm going to be hated if this happens to me in real life, which I do not want that to happen to me. And I don't want that to happen to any of you. Imagine this won't go away and the damage has been done. This is crazy and this is way too far. <sighs> okay, it's ringing. Hello, who is this? Uh, it's me, boss. It's Officer Guy. Guy, what the hell is wrong with you? Why did you post that racist tweet? I, I, I didn't mean to, boss. Honest. It, it was a clown that's obsessed with AIDS. He stole my phone and he posted that. Will you come in first thing in the morning to talk about this? I, I, I will try, boss. Come on, Boiny, let's get some sleep. How, Karen? Billy won't leave us the hell alone. Boiny, you just need to relax. We will go to sleep and we'll feel better in the morning. Okay, we can try. What the? What? what? Karen! Karen, wake up! What's wrong, Boiny? Look, our arms are chained together. Oh, Boiny, are you getting kinky on me? No, Karen, where the hell are we? I don't know, Boiny, but it's scary in here. Look, the TV's coming on. Hello, I would like to play a game. Billy, I do not have time for this shit. I gotta go to work in a few hours. I know, I know, I know. Just a quick game. So, the game is, you have to go to work in a few hours. Bind your chain to your wife in this room. Only one of you can escape. The first person to cut their arm off gets to leave. So, what's it gonna be? Your wife or you? You decide. Okay, when does the AIDS come in? I know there's AIDS in here somewhere. Good question. The saw is covered in AIDS. And there it is. So come on. Who's gonna cut their arm off? Who's gonna get AIDS? Boy, I don't want to cut my arm off. What are we gonna do? Well, the only thing we're chained to is each other, so we could just get up and leave. Oh, really? Y yeah, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. 
Oh, come on, guys. That's not fair. Someone has to get AIDS. Damn it. Wow, that was easy. They just outsmart him just like that. Yeah, good job, broken guy. Uh-huh. Congrats. Yeah, I'm really glad you both didn't end up dead. Well, I want Carrie to end up dead, but still. Anyways, yeah. I'm really glad in the ending that they both survive. And yes, through the entire videos, I did not like the games. I mean, the only thing that was funny in this video was Broken Guy actually shit in his pants. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that sucks. That really does. And also not only that, but also Penelope here in the bedroom, they, she really thought they were doing it. They were not. Like, calm down. She's going to feel like that when she's older. Uh-huh. Yes, she is. And not only that, but, yeah. I like the Miami Heat game, and yes, I feel bad broken guy. But that's the only thing I like. So, yeah, what video this was. Especially involving Ace and not only that. But also some death games involving broken guy Sandy Edward and not only that, but also Jonathan literally coming out. Coming to their house naked. Weary. He literally just run in here telling them that. Like, what the fuck? Uh-uh. Yeah. You, you know, the only thing he was saw in that photo of broken guy's wife, Karen. Yeah. he He's going to keep it in a safe place. I mean, let's face it. That's never ever going to happen. So, I'm glad he took that phone away. Uh-huh. Sick bastard. Yes. And I'm just going to start right here. So, I'll be seeing you later in the next video about SML. But till then, y'all have a nice day out there. And I'll be seeing you later, alright? So, peace out. Stay pro. Where, everyone?